What's up, whiskey lovers, and welcome to another episode of Whiskey Mad. As promised in the last video, this video we look at something that's a little close to home and has a special, special, unique give back. I wouldn't say option, but a give back initiative. So let's cue the music, cue the intro, and let's get into it. So guys, welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Mad. In this video, like I said, we will be looking at something a little unique that hits a little bit close to home, especially for us South Africans. And today we have the Rhino Whiskey. Now, this whiskey was developed by two friends sitting around a campfire one night, chatting about the issue we have here in South Africa, which is rhino poaching. We see a lot of poaching of rhinos. Just last year, we lost 260 rhinos. They're being poached for their horns, and this whiskey was developed to help give back and to conserve the rhino population. So Gerrit and Bryn of Rhino Whiskies put this together and yeah, they obviously sell it. it. It is a product of Scotland. It is distilled in Scotland and brought to South Africa and then obviously distributed from there on. They do give 20% of their profits back to the Rhino Orphanage. So I would encourage you guys to go onto the website, have a look at what they're doing, how they're working. They're doing amazing things. So support them and buy a bottle if you can. I know some of these bottles are available in America and in Canada, so you can get them there as well. So without further ado, let's look into the whiskey. This is, like I said, a product of Scotland. It is a single malt scotch whiskey, distilled and double cast, sorry, double cast matured in rum casks. It is out of the Speyside region in Scotland. We don't kind of know where as, as what we've been told is that it is distilled in Strathspey near the River Spey in an undisclosed location and matured in rum cask. So that's, that's basically all we know about this. It is a premium single malt, so it's going to be tasty. It's going to be nice. So let's crack open the bottle. If we look at the bottle and the packaging, it comes in a cylindrical cardboard packaging, which you can see there. What they have tried to do is try to imitate rhino skin on the bottle, so, well, sorry, on the packaging. So it is textured, which is really, really cool. And they do have a nice little designed little, you know, little logo there. So that is going to be, well, that is really cool. <laughs> let's pop it open and pop the bottle on here a look again at the bottle cylindrical bottle clear glass it is extremely beautiful colored it is a 750 ml bottle at 43 percent abv so that's quite cool the label does have that sort of rhino skin texture on it, which is really, really cool. I don't know if you can see it out there. So, yeah, man. Let's, uh, let's crack on and open it up. I am going to pour us a little, or well myself, <laughs> a little touch here to see what it's like. cool man so if we look at the nose of the single malt they suggest a rich malty aroma with biscuity sweetness and fresh fruit a delicate leafy character with 
sorry, balanced with vanilla sweetness. So on the nose, definitely vanilla coming through there. I do kind of get a fruity smell, kind of, kind of like a berries, very much a berry, leafy character I don't know too much about, but definitely the vanilla, the vanilla coming through there, so that's a, it's got a nice smooth smell to it. On the palate we're supposed to have sweet rounded vanilla oakiness multi character through the taste with subtle caramelized fruits so cheers that's definitely definitely a sweet vanilla oakiness this is a very I want to say sweet whiskey, but it kind of yeah, it kind of finishes off very, very nicely and very, very oaky. Caramelized fruits. I don't know so much. I don't know why why dates, dates or raisins are coming to mind here. I don't know, I don't know why, a dried fruitiness, maybe a bit of apricot, but there is definitely something sweet about it. It is said to have a finish of long lasting mellow flavors, so it definitely has, it has warmed from the top here down to here, it has definitely got a warm, warm feeling. And extremely smooth it is really really smooth actually nice nice palette like I said definitely the dried fruits do come through there or sorry caramelized fruits do come through there like I said I don't know why I'm being drawn to dates raisins apricots that type of that type of sweetness and like I said, on the first hit, you definitely do get that, that kind of multi vanilla oakiness. All in all, this is actually fantastic dram. I am really, really amazed. I would love to know what distillery this comes out of, uh, as it is a single malt. So I would like to... I would really, really, really like to know their secret. But like I said, it is an undisclosed, undisclosed location, sorry. So we'll probably never know unless we get hold of uh, Gerrit and Bryn. You know, they might uh, spill the beans. This bottle retails for about 650 Rand in our local stores, which is about 35 or 36, you know, dollars. So not a... In my opinion, not a very high-end whiskey and not a very low-end whiskey. It just kind of sits there, you know, in the middle. But a fantastic, fantastic dram with a great initiative behind us, well, behind it. So I would urge you guys to please visit the website. You are able to make donations there if you want to. It is for Rhino you know, for the rhinos. So yeah, man, please just, uh, you know, give what you can. Buy a bottle, enjoy a bottle because it's awesome. It's amazing. Guys, thank you very much for watching. It has been fantastic. Again, please help this channel grow. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and share it wherever you can. We are on all social media platforms so give us a like a follow a share wherever you can and we will catch you on the next one where we head back to scotland and we look at something amazing so until next time we'll see you cheers